Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid and these are the headlines. United States President Donald Trump has threatened Iran over reports it is planning an attack against the U.S. in retaliation for the killing of Qasem Soleimani. President Trump said U.S. response to any Iranian attack will be a thousand times greater in the magnitude. Iranian Foreign Ministry has dismissed the report saying this is part of Washington's disinformation campaign against Tehran. At least two dozens of migrants have drowned after their Europe-bound boat capsized in the Mediterranean Sea off the Libyan coast. A spokesperson for the UN Migration Agency said bodies of two migrants have been retrieved, while 22 missing people have been presumed dead. Talking to media, Safa Msehili said 45 people, mostly from Egypt and Morocco, have been rescued. Islamabad has strongly rejected the unwarranted references to Pakistan in a joint U.S.-India statement. Foreign Office spokesman Zahid Hafiz Chaudhry said Islamabad's serious concerns regarding the joint statement have been conveyed to the U.S. Chaudhry said the international community is well aware that Pakistan is a country most affected by cross-border terrorism, sponsored and supported by India. The Palestinians are observing a black day to protest the signing ceremony of the UAE and Bahrain's peace deals with Israel today. Palestine's Prime Minister Mohammed Shatayeh has called it the darkest chapter in the history of the Arab world and a surrender of the Arab League. Shatayeh urged the other Arab states not to take part in the celebrations. The number of COVID-19 cases in India has surpassed 4.9 million after a spike of nearly 84,000 new infections in the last 24 hours. More than 1,000 people died overnight in India, raising the death toll to over 80,000. In Pakistan, six more people have lost their lives to the virus, taking the death count to 6,389. Globally, the virus has infected more than 29 million people and claims over 927,000 lives so far. Well, that is all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news.